In this video, I'm looking at a new FreeBSD-based OS called CultBSD. And it is described by the developer as an experimental project based on FreeBSD to create a perfect way to install FreeBSD and also to give you the ability to back up or clone your installation to an external hard drive that could be also bootable. It's very much work in progress and is the fourth pre-alpha, but it already has a few interesting points. So, looking on the SourceForge page, you can see that it's been developed actively. At the time of this video, it was uh, 15 hours since the latest upload or alteration. And the version that we'll be looking at uh, is the Mate edition, which is in a compressed image file. There are some instructions on this page if you want to uh, decompress it and write it to a USB stick. And the default password is 123 for both the live image and the root. Downloading it, and it is a hefty size at 3.2 gigabytes, but it's not the biggest I've ever seen. And here we are just writing it to the USB stick. Right, I'm going to boot this. Um, looks pretty standard so far for a free BSD. And here comes the login screen. Very nice indeed. It's quite, uh, it's quite bright. And you presented with just the pass, uh, no actual credentials needed. And Zen Mate Edition, yes. Yeah. So the password of 123. Texas into, hopefully, Texas into the desktop. Oh, there we go. Oh, very nice. I like the addition of the window uh, inviting you to go to the website. So it's all nice and clean, if not a bit bright. You get applications, places, systems, so pretty standard. But I do like this bit here, and this is like a, it's like almost like a global menu um, that applies to whichever window you've got open at the time. So that's kind of nice. Uh, calendar, date, and screen lock, etc. So looking good so far. We'll have a look at the what's in the menus. Um, pretty default so far. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, Firefox, no office applications, programming, sound division, uh, DSB mixer maybe, that's something that look out for, and DSB MC. So and then any places, I don't know what these are, these are probably just uh, left over from development. Network, connect, and there, oh, recent documents, ah, oh, I think you forgot to clear that. Good job there was nothing dodgy there. Uh, preferences, control center Mate, yeah, that's fine. And um, we're using Mate 1.2, 4.1. All pretty standard, really. We'll have a look at the desktop settings. Well, you get one or two themes, not so bad. No, not too bad at all, actually. For backgrounds, Let's wait for it to pop up. It's live session anyway, so it's going to be a little bit slow. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Some standard ones. And the fonts, which is already selected for uh, LCD, which is nice. And interface settings. Right. Very nice, yes. We can start to install. And you have to type in the uh, the drive that you want. Okay, well, that's it's unusual, but we'll we'll do it that way. So it's ADA zero to continue installation. Yes, and it'll do its thing, and we'll just fast forward that to the end. Right. So let's add a few things to the loader.conf. Okay. Let's quickly go through these uh, selections. Create a new user. And interestingly, it didn't uh, hide the uh, the password there, so I'll just skip that bit. We're all finished. Okay. Send over. Oh, yes, it's Chris from Greece. Oh, he's a user that I recognize from the FreeBSD forums. 
I think this has potential, whether or not, I mean, he describes it as being experimental, so whether he intends for it to uh, ever be on that, I don't know. But, you know, there's uh, one or two, like I said, one or two touches I like. I like the fact that the login automatically logs in a default user. Some people may not like that, of course. So you just put in the password. And the menu system at the top where it, on past the right-hand side, it relates to the window that's open. I, I kind of like that. That's a nice touch. So, yes. Um... That's it, just a quick look really, to, uh, a new, uh, it's always interesting when you get a new FreeBSD based OS. There's been one or two pop up over the years of course, and they've, after a promising start, they've disappeared or not continued. So hopefully uh, this is not going to be one of them, but we'll see, time will tell. Anyway, check out, I'll give you the links uh, in the description box down below. Go and check out the OS if you want, drop the developer some suggestions, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.